What's up guys? Killjoy here from Pug Gaming, of course. And today I got a special little treat. It's gonna be a first dual commentary on my uh, channel. And with that being said, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi guys, I am She Devil, and this is my gameplay that you're gonna be watching today. Um, we're just gonna go through the motions and pretty much just let you know what's going on and how I play and stuff like that. So what setup exactly are you be using in there in this video? Oh, well, first she needs to see that. That's just hilarious. <laughs> that, I that was... walk into this room and I'm like, what's going on? My setup, though, is a Galil with a Warlord, so it has a suppressor and extended mags. I'm using Ghost, and I am also using whatever the hell my third per mar marathon. My secondary is the Strella for anti-air. Strella, so you like taking down your air support, I assume. Yeah. Now, uh, um, uh, do you take down just air support? Or do you take down like the UAVs and stuff too? Well, I originally had it for when I was trying to get. Well, I'm still trying to get Ghost Pro at this point. So uh, anything that I can get down goes down, pretty much. Okay, because I know some people that like run around with it, but yet they don't shoot down like the necessary stuff because just five planes are up way more often than you know the uh, typical air support. So right. you would think people would use them for those, but you'd, seriously, you'd be surprised the people that don't uh, don't shoot down spice planes over normal day aircraft. Um, but other than that, um, what, so what's going to be your strategy during this video? Um, pretty much what I'm going through right now is just follow what I see on my radar, which is kind of not the best way to play because I end up staring at my radar way too much. But just being aware of what's going on around me and just reacting to that um so, and so i don't know why i didn't kill this guy i saw him and i knew he was there and i guess i thought i would have a better opportunity to shoot at him and i didn't take it and it was just it was just bad <laughs> <laughs> now um it seems like so far you're you know you're sort of running and gunning so to speak but you're taking cover and being cautious so you're not completely running like crazy like i usually do you're uh you take cover right. like there you took you took back reload you know and continue going somewhere else and it seems like you also have the uh, same play style i kind of use which is staying away from your teammates now yeah uh, that's it's well it's two reasons why i stay away from my teammates mostly because um with modern warfare 2 i used to love to flank and if my teammates are being dumb and they're letting themselves get uh choked then i could just run around and flank another thing is because most of the time my teammates are dumb so i'll get stuck in doorways or they'll run into me while I'm trying to away, run away from a grenade, and that's just really frustrating. So I just kind of like do a lone ranger kind of thing and just go on my own and just take care of things. That's uh, that's def that. yeah, that's definitely uh, that's definitely something you should do. It's uh, that's what I do. Is it's and I don't know I don't know why the majority of people who play FPSs or COD series at least still stay with their teammates. Like you'll always see like a bunch, at least three guys on your team, no matter what game you go in, are running right next to each other, and um. I, I know 90% of the time it's not, they're just friends, and that was pretty good reaction time there if there was somebody there, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I know, I felt really dumb that there wasn't, and then I shot, I was like, this game is so terrifying, because I used to have stopping power from in uh, Modern Warfare 2, I don't yeah. have that anymore, so I can't just, like, tank bullets, you know? <laughs> so, um... My reaction time has to be really spot on for me to survive anything. And I was meeting stuck in a doorway, and I was raging. Yeah, it's, that, yeah, you definitely have some uh, crazy reaction time, so to speak, like back there. And then I'm sure there's a few times more in the video. Also, I noticed now when I'm watching this is you have a claymore that you don't use. It seems like. Do you use I, that at all? I have used it before. I promise. But I do you use it in this video? <laughs> I think. I'm not used to it, I guess. In Modern Warfare 2, it was either Claymores or Simtex. I always pick Simtex. They're my go-to, you know, uh, yeah. accessory. So my Claymore is kind of like an afterthought. If I'm going to stick around in, in a spot for a while, then I'll place it down. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I forget that it's there and it's something I really need to work on. And I keep telling myself I'm going to change, and I never do. That's fair enough. So um, I see you've gotten, what, your blackbird and your chop what are your kill streaks you got here going um blackbird chopper gunner uh attack dogs i see that so uh, you're running the highest kill streaks possible <laughs> <laughs> yeah because, wow that's ballsy um when i first started playing i was like man my kills like i'm getting i'm getting like whatever my attack helicopter because i was running spy plane the typical spy plane care package yeah, uh start spy yeah. plane like right attack helicopter and I'd get my, my helicopter, and then I would just be streakless, and the attack helicopter sucks as a kill streak. 
you know? I, and at that point, you don't know what you're, what you're capable of doing. Yeah, I, I guess so, that's, that's true. Um, yeah. You that, never know, like in Modern Warfare 2, you never know if you're going to get a nuke if you never have it turned on. Uh, that's true, I guess. So, and when you play Modern Warfare 2, do you always have the nuke on? Um, I did for a while, and I've gotten three. So, that was a lot of fun. That's a, uh, see, that's, that's, I know that, there's a bunch of people I know that have that mentality that I always, they always rock the, uh, 7 11 25 on Modern Warfare 2 because they're always like, Well, you never know, man, when you're gonna get a kill streak, you know, so you always wanna have that out. Um, me personally, I always run with low kill streaks just because of my game style, and that's why I, I looked at my stats earlier today with a buddy, and I have like 300 and something crazy number of spy planes called in and something else crazy just because, and I, I think that spy planes are great kill streak and I, it helps your teammate out. You, it seems like you're just in it for kills, obviously. <laughs> I mean, well, that's why I play TDM. Okay. And here's me realizing my teammates are retarded, um, shooting at the crate. Anyway, so um, when I play objective games like Demolition or Domination, I feel guilty running around and killing people. You As know? you should, because you're not doing your thing. Because that's what I'm supposed to do, exactly. So that's why I pretty much play TDM exclusively, because I can just run around and just go crazy. And here's me actually picking something up. Okay. Um... And I was actually really excited that I got an MP5K because I'm really good at this gun, and that's why I didn't see that guy behind me. So, you... so I was like, "Fuck yeah, gun!" <laughs> and then I realized there was someone behind me. That's but that's, that's great. Um, <laughs> so if, so, what would be your favorite gun so far in Black Ops? The Gillo, for sure. I definitely like it. The iron sight is super easy to use, so you don't have to use anything uh, like a reflexive sight or an ACOG or whatever. Um, and then the MP5K is really powerful, especially when you're in close range and you can't really aim down your sight. You can just fucking hip fire. Yeah, hip firing's uh, my uh, my friend. I love hip firing people, especially up close. Up close, you hip fire a lot more accurate than just aim down your sights. Look at this sneaky motherfucker. I thought he was dead. Wow, really? You're blind. You yeah, I know. So dumb, and I got so mad, but he wasn't there when I went back. So you mentioned you like the uh, the Galil. Can you compare that with any guns from Modern Warfare 2? Um. Or what is your favorite gun what? in Modern Warfare 2? Um, I was a tryhard. I used the ACR. Wow. You were yeah. I. You, you do I'm, seem like the ACR kind of person. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know. <laughs> just it was say. just really easy to use. And that's by the way, you're like fifth time you flashed yourself. It, I, I think there's that. only one time in this video where I don't manage to... Uh, that you actually get a clean flash off? Yeah, and it's at the end of the video. Okay, but, uh, fair enough then. Um, yeah. So at this point, what's uh, so what's so good about this game? You you should have, what, probably 30-something kills right now, it seems? You've gotten a lot of kills. Yeah. Um, it's definitely going to show the scoreboard at the end, and I totally stole that guy's kill. I kind of felt bad about it for a little bit, you but then I got over feel it. You did You're a kill whore. A, a little bit, I did. <laughs> you can tell I you're a kill whore. I was like, oh, sorry. You're like, yes, should. I win. You lose. <laughs> I am pretty selfish. Um, I, I can tell from this. Yeah, actually, the end of the game is right about now. Alrighty. Um, well, yeah. what's the final score here? Um, it'll show it right there. 49-3. 49-3. That's a pretty beastly score. Uh, yeah. Well, thanks for showing your gameplay and thanks for having it on the channel. All right. Thanks.